a Cryic mentor, you have access to our mentor toolkit of resources, which can support you through your partnership. The mentor roadmap is a document you will find in your mentor handbook. This can help you structure your mentoring journey with an outline of what you might discuss at each meeting. Each mentee will be different, so we encourage you to be flexible and make it your own. Over the four weeks of your mentoring partnership, you'll touch on four main areas of employment, mentee assessment and job search strategies, employer contact and networking, networking and interviews, and Canadian workplace culture. In the first week, you'll get to know your mentee and focus on job search strategies. Building a relationship of trust and respect with your mentee is the first priority in the mentoring process. By taking this approach, you'll create a report through which the real needs of your mentee can be expressed and an environment in which their unique style of learning can be fostered. Use this first meeting to start building that relationship and getting to know your mentee. While getting to know your mentee personally, you can also begin discussing the expectations and behaviors as outlined in the partnership agreement. It's a great idea to begin each meeting with a review of last week's action items and schedule your next meeting. In meeting two, you can focus on helping your mentee to define their career and educational goals. You can revisit the goals they set in their application, establish your mentoring goals, clarify an action plan for achieving these goals, and explore relevant certifications or licensing requirements. In meeting three, you can begin exploring job search strategies with your mentee. You can discuss Canadian expectations of time and punctuality, compare a job search in Canada with the mentee's home country, assess their resume, and ask them to bring relevant job postings to your next meeting for review. Meeting four will continue a discussion of job search strategies. Here, you can review job postings, review different types of employment contracts, and discuss salary ranges, expectations, and negotiations. You can invite your mentee to share samples of their work and offer feedback, and discuss volunteer culture in Canada. Reflect often on how your partnership is going to see what's working well. Remember, if you require support, the CRIAC team is always available to help. In week two, you and your mentee will begin discussing employer contracts and networking. In meeting five, you can focus on the learning and development goals of your mentee. You can explore professional development opportunities, discuss upgrading courses, recommend relevant literature and resources, and review industry-specific language and terminology. In meeting six, you can help your mentee understand the importance of using networking tools such as LinkedIn to start building a strong professional network. You can share networking ideas and experiences, consider what makes an appropriate LinkedIn account, share ideas of how to connect with professionals, examine the importance of having one's profile match their resume, and discuss strategies for building relationships with potential employers. In meeting seven, you can continue your discussion of networking in Canada and encourage your mentee to begin considering different avenues. You may brainstorm networking opportunities and current activities, examine any feedback the mentee has received, evaluate practices, explore professional associations, set a networking goal and action plan, and discuss appropriate small talk and contact exchange practices. In meeting eight, you can begin discussing the idea of information interviews. You can create and review a list of targeted questions, discuss the purpose of such meetings, and conduct a mock interview with feedback. Keep in mind, not all mentees start in the same place, nor do they develop all in the same areas at the same pace. The key is simply to make progress. In the third week of your mentoring partnership, 
you and your mentee will continue your discussion of networking, as well as begin preparing for potential job interviews. In meeting nine, you can begin looking at strategies that will help your mentee build a strong professional networking. Explore opportunities to put networking into practice, offer feedback on any interactions, and discuss the importance of continuous networking throughout one's career path. In meeting 10, you can begin discussing best practices for successful telephone and virtual interviews. You can discuss the do's and don'ts of phone interviews, email and voicemail messaging, as well as practice mock interviews on the various platforms. In meeting 11, continue your discussion and preparation for job interviews. You can discuss appropriate behavior in formal interviews, share feedback and experiences, review and practice possible questions and answers, and introduce the concept of behavioral interviews. In meeting 12, ask your mentee to apply what they have learned by holding a mock interview. Here, the mentee can practice answering different questions and receive your constructive feedback. In the final week of your mentoring partnership, you and your mentee will explore Canadian workplace culture. In meeting 13, you can compare workplace culture between Canada and your mentee's home country. Consider professional norms in Calgary, discuss industry specific culture of your own workplace, and examine concepts such as teamwork and conflict management. A great way to do this is to brainstorm common scenarios and discuss ways of dealing with them. In meeting 14, you can support your mentee in creating an action plan for moving forward after the mentoring partnership closes. A suggested activity is to ask your mentee to draft an action plan for the next two months. In meeting 15, review the action plan your mentee was assigned the previous week. Ask them to share their plan and discuss potential barriers and solution. Discuss the importance of ongoing career planning over the course of their career. Closures are important moments in our lives. In your final meeting, take the time to acknowledge and celebrate your journey together. Review the efforts and achievements of the last four months. Share your most memorable moments, your biggest learnings, next steps, and offer any parting words of advice. Keep in mind, this need not be the end of your personal and professional relationship. Our hope is that you've gained knowledge, experience, and satisfaction through your mentoring as well, and we encourage you to stay in touch if you wish. Thank each other and acknowledge the contribution you have each made to what we hope has been a rewarding and fruitful journey. On behalf of everyone at Cryic, thank you for your time and dedication to supporting our talented newcomer professionals.